Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you've been here before, then you will know who I am and you know the type of videos that I make. And you kind of know what to expect. If you are new, then hi, welcome, join this wonderful community. And hi, I'm Olive. I like to make long distance relationship advice, tips, video things because I myself have been in a long distance relationship for about 10 years now, which is kind of crazy. Now it's with different people, but my point is that I have a lot of experience with it, with different people, so different styles of having long distance relationships. I kind of like to just share that with you guys and hopefully try and build a community here where you can come, feel safe and share your experiences and we can all kind of like chat about what we're going through. And also you kind of don't feel alone. You know what I mean? Sometimes you really feel like you're the only one going through this and everything sucks, which like I totally get you, but you're not alone in this. Like, hi, I'm there with you. Let's support each other. Comment down below, share your tips, help others. Like this is what this is all about. If you're vibing with that, then subscribe. A lot of the time, I would say probably like 90% of the time, long distance relationships are seen as difficult and bad and nah, it doesn't work. That's what most people say when you tell them that you're in a long distance relationship. They're like, how? Like, surely that doesn't work. They're not gonna last. That's people's instant opinions and it's usually a negative one. So I wanted to make this video to talk about why there are actually benefits to a long distance relationship. And this is true, there are. You may not be seeing them right now because you miss your other half and I get it. There have been such bad days where I'm like, this is just frustrating. How can this be positive? How can there be benefits? But when I have actually sat down and really thought and analyzed my relationship, I've realized that actually there have been so many benefits to being in a long distance relationship. And stay till the end to hear the number one reason why I think long distance relationships are better than normal relationships. So the number one reason that I believe long distance relationships are super beneficial is because you have time to yourself. And I know that I may say that and you might say, hmm, but I miss them. I get it, me too. But what I'm saying is there are so many people who who are in long-term relationships, who live with each other, who see each other 24 seven, every single day, every single moment of the day, some do, and that's great, but you never really get that time to yourself, to focus on yourself. Especially if you're someone who's just starting to develop their career or just starting to work on themselves or just starting to decide what they wanna study in the future. And all of this stuff like needs time, but sometimes you love someone a lot and you wanna be with them, but you also wanna love yourself and focus on yourself. And that's a lot of the time Time when relationships don't work out because you don't have time for that other person. So one of the benefits that we have being in a long distance relationship is that we have so much time to ourselves. We have time to work on our careers, work on our character development, work on our hobbies, everything, literally everything. And then when we see our partner, we can spend every single moment being invested in our partner and actually paying attention to them fully. That's the beauty of it. You have time for yourself, but also time for your other half. You don't have have to be there balancing it out all the time. And that is a huge, huge benefit that a lot of people don't see. But start seeing it because it is a massive one. Now, the second benefit of being in a long distance relationship, and this one might be my favorite one, is that you constantly have that honeymoon phase. Like it is a constant thing that happens in your relationship. And again, if you live with someone in the same house, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, but you're with them 24 seven and you know, sparks may be there, but sparks will fly. That's the nature of humans. We can't constantly be like getting butterflies for our other half, which I mean, if you have that and you live in the same household as someone and you 24 seven have butterflies for them, then you're doing something really right. But most of the time you get used to living with someone and it just becomes habit, which is great. I want that eventually one day. But being in a long distance relationship gives you that like oh, excitement, that butterfly feeling. And you get that feeling over and over again. Every time you see your partner in person, you haven't seen them in a while. So when you see them, it's like all of these sparks are flying. You're having the best time of your life. And that is the honeymoon phase. And you get it multiple times, which most relationships, that doesn't happen. So this point kind of brings me on to the next point, which is, you know that feeling of the last day, the last day that you're gonna see them. You gotta go back home. That's just how it is, you know, all good things end. And that feeling sucks. No one likes that last day feeling. We all hate it. It's not a good feeling, but that sometimes can ruin your last day. How many of you have gone to see your other half for a week, two weeks, whatever, and then when that last day is approaching, you're just kind of feeling it the whole time. 
time, maybe even three days before the last day comes. You're kind of thinking about it, you know it's coming, and you're trying to push it out of your mind, and then the last day actually comes, and you ruin your entire last day thinking about the fact that it's your last day. My point of advice for that is try and remember on your last day how you felt on your first day. And I know this might sound kind of stupid, and you're like, girl, what? How am I supposed to do that? But seriously, just try and like picture how happy and how great you felt seeing your love on that first day. And try and tell yourself, you know what? I don't feel so good right now. I'm upset, but I don't want to ruin my last day being upset. That's just gonna give you 24 hours less of fun instead of having 24 hours more of fun. And I know this is way easier said than done, but try and imagine how great that feeling was of when you first saw them and think to yourself like, yes, this sucks. I'm gonna leave tomorrow, but you know what? I'm going to see him again and I'm going to re-experience that feeling again, which takes us back to phase two, which was honeymoon phase. My third point is that you have to remember that you have someone out there who genuinely loves you. They're willing to actually do this with you. Not many people are so ready to just jump into a long distance relationship because it takes effort, it takes time, and it, it takes care. And you need to remember and be happy that someone is truly invested in you. Someone who is making an effort, someone who loves you. They only want to be with you. There are so many other people around them on a daily basis, but they're not interested. They want you. And that's that is one of the most beautiful things out there. And the last point I have, which I've mentioned in my first ever long distance video that I made, and this is one that my boyfriend actually told me, he's a very, very positive thinking person, which is great. Can be annoying sometimes because I'm just like, I'm sad, okay? But he always, always tries to switch my mind and tell me, just be positive. Everything's gonna be okay. We cannot think negatively because it will also reflect badly on our relationship and it will cause us to argue when it's not necessary. So one day I said to him, I miss you so much. Much, and he said, me too, I really do miss you, but it's nice. And I was like, <clears throat> what? <clears throat> What's nice? Missing someone can be actually one of the most rewarding feelings on this planet. And you might think I'm crazy right now. Think about it. Having that opportunity to actually have someone you love and that loves you and invests so much time in you, like I said, and cares about you and respects you, like you have that. And you have the ability to miss someone like that. It sounds crazy, but try and appreciate the fact that you have that. And not many people have that. There are so many people out there who would literally kill to be in your position and that might sound crazy to you right now but what you have is so special like so special sometimes it's worth that weight because you have something incredible that not many people do and that connection you have is real because if you can survive a long distance relationship and you're both putting in that effort to make it work even if it feels impossible sometimes then you have something very precious and very special and you need to respect that and give it time I know it's tough but you're together for a reason. You're sticking it out for a reason. You're meant to be together. So yes, it's tough. And yes, it sucks to miss someone, but it's also such an honor to be able to miss someone, to have that. I might sound crazy to a lot of you, but if I could at least help that 0.1% of you watching this video, then I hope that I did that because that's all that really matters. I love making these videos because they make me happy and seeing all of your comments and your messages and people who even search me on Instagram to find me there so they can directly talk to me, which is amazing that you take the time to do that. I always, always, always answer to comments. I try to anyway. If I've missed you, it's not on purpose. I probably just haven't actually seen it. So if you ever want to talk about something or you just have a question or anything, just reach out to me. Honestly, I'm there for you because I know what you're going through. I'm going through the exact same thing. I haven't seen my boyfriend in five months now and I am starting to think it's going to turn into half a year, which is absolutely insane. The longest we've gone before is three months and even that was insane. We're planning now to hopefully be able to see each other in mid-June, but God knows, you know, I have no idea. It's not up to us. With this terrible pandemic, everything is delayed and no one knows when they're going to be able to see their other half. And I feel for you. I really do. So I hope everyone is doing well and I hope everyone is okay. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you at all or if you enjoyed it at least because it helps me out a lot and I know you guys like this content and so then I can keep making videos like this. Also comment down below if you have any tips or any advice that you'd like to share with any of us because you might not think your comment makes a difference but I'm sure it does. Like
like this video hopefully makes a difference to anyone who might be watching it. Also subscribe if you enjoyed the video because I will definitely be making more videos like this one and other ones about general long distance relationships. So I'd love to have you there. You can also follow me on Instagram. So my Instagram is Olivera Darko and I also have a fitness lifestyle health one. If you're interested, you can also follow me there, which is Body by Olive. But my main one is Olivera Darko and on there, if you want to reach out to me and have a question or want to have a chat, feel free to do that. I'd be super happy to answer any questions. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.